These are the Blue Gear Bluetooth headphones. I really like these. I like this style of headphones. The reason I like this is you can put it around your neck. If you need to only use one earpiece, you can. It's not going to fall off. I like that these have magnets that go back into place. The main reason I like this style of Bluetooth headphones is because I use headphones a lot when I ride my bike and I adjust the settings a lot. And so it's nice that I can do that with one hand and I'm not sticking stuff in my ear. Something else that I do a lot now that it's winter time. And the reason I really like these headphones is you can see where the wire is and how well this fits inside your ear. It allows me to put earmuffs on top. And because the earbuds are not jutting out, um, it's very comfortable so I can still keep my ears warm and listen to music and it doesn't get in the way of my bicycle helmet. Pretty cool. So really quick, I just want to talk about the things I do and don't like about these headphones. So for one, like I mentioned, I like the style. I like that I can control everything uh, fairly easily. I like that these clip to the neck band and I like that the earbuds go all the way inside your ear. This comes with different uh, ear pieces. I put the largest one in so it fits really well. It does a good job of blocking out outside sound. The overall music quality is about the same as I hear with most Bluetooth headphones and that is it's good and if it's better than that I don't really know. I'm not a, I'm not a music sound expert. I like the way it sounds though, that's all I can say. Not super bassy, but perfectly great sounding headphones. I use it a lot for listening to podcasts and it works just great. I like how long the battery lasts. Uh, in the Amazon description page it says uh, you can listen to music for about six hours and it takes two and a half hours to charge. I found that to be pretty accurate. I was able to charge this completely in I think about two hours uh, and I can go over a week using this um, I listen to this about 40 minutes to an hour a day and so I think the six hour I mean it's at least six hours that you can listen to music so I'm very happy with that uh, when the battery gets low um, about every two minutes it will say low battery and then about five minutes it will die. So that's good to know if you hear the low battery warning, you're only gonna get about five minutes more. So you will have to charge. And it's kind of a bummer if you're on your bike and can't charge, but what you gonna do? Now the thing I don't like about these headphones is these buttons are kind of weird. So it's got the volume down button, which is also the next track, volume up button and previous track, which seems kind of weird to me. That's kind of backwards from most other headphones. And then you've got the play pause button in the middle. Now, the functionality doesn't bug me so much as it's really hard to feel a difference between which button. So when I'm riding my bike and I'm trying to turn it on, I'm trying to feel where the middle button is. And sometimes it's kind of difficult. Usually when my hands are cold, I can't really feel that well. I, I wish there's a little more definition in these buttons. Not a huge deal, but kind of annoying to turn on and off. Realistically though, these are my new headphones of choice. I like them because the battery power lasts so long. They're comfortable to wear when I ride my bike and great sound. So overall, good headphones.